Hello everybody. Today's tutorial is an actually an updated tutorial on how to author a DVD using Adobe Premiere and Adobe Encore. So, first step is you have your completed project in Adobe Premiere and for me it's, this is just a quick slideshow that I did. So the first thing you want to do is export your video as an MPEG-2 for DVDs. So once you're done, you hit M as in Mary to X to bring up your export settings. And over here for format, you want to choose MPEG-2 DVD, MPEG-2-DVD. Choose that. Um, we're exporting video as well as audio. Um, here you would also choose where you want your final file to be located. Also what you want to do is come over here to your multiplexer and you could choose DVD. So that will basically create one MPEG file. Whereas if you choose none, see the file type changes to M2V. So you would you would have two files. You would have an M2V file and a WAV file for your audio. But at this point right now I don't need to have multiple files so we're gonna choose DVD and we come back over here to video uh, I like to render at maximum depth and also uh, maximum uh, render quality just because I want to get the best quality possible we all know that the capacity for a DVD is 4.7 gigabytes so if your estimated file size is larger than that, uh, we can come here and we can make changes to our maximum bit rate and even bring down our target bit, bit rate a little bit. I mean, that's the minimum. To the, max, to the target and the maximum bit rate, we can bring those down a little bit and you'll see the, file, the estimated file size come down. So you just want to make sure that that is uh, well within your 4.7 gigabytes um, because you also have to have the Encore file information on there as well. So once you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and either hit Q and export via um, encoder or you can just hit export and export within Premiere. So I've already done that, so we can move on to the next step. Okay, so your next step here is to open up Adobe Encore. So we can go to New Project, and the title of this project, you can uh, name it whatever you would like to name it. Um, for this, I'm just going to do test and put it in uh, whatever location you would like and then hit OK and this is how Adobe Encore looks when you first open it when it first opens so next you want to drag and drop your file into your project so open the folder and you just drag and drop and you see that it is transcoding and what happens is when you export from Premiere as an MPEG-2, you allow Premiere to do most of the heavy lifting. So it does all of the transcoding there. And you don't have to do it here in Encore. So you can burn your DVD a lot faster and without any issues. So next, go and create our timeline. Right click on your file, hit New Timeline. And then your timeline is created. So from here, and then you can scrub through, and you know you can see your see your movie. So then you want to go to menu, and we want to create a new menu. We can come over here to our library, and we can choose a menu. So I always like to go with a blank menu, and I want to choose my own. Um, only because then that way I can design what I want. But there are several menus, pre-designed menus here. So, um, matter of fact, let's go. Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with one of these. 
let's pick something kind of cool I like the little bubbles here we're gonna choose City Lights HD so just double click so now um, to see our buttons that are already on here if we click this button right here so click that and then that shows what where the buttons are so I want to edit this because I don't need all of these I only have one uh, chapter here so we can right click and edit the menu in Photoshop comes up so now um, the only thing I have is you know your main title which is the title of your movie or your project um, and I just have one chapter so I can just do play movie so these others I can turn them off because I do not need them so scene selection can come off special feature can come off and setup can come off so play movie is the only one I need and if I wanted to uh, edit these I can just double click and make my edit same thing with play movie I can open up the group and double click on the title and make a change to it so once you're happy with that and then you can do any changes in here that you like um, and once you're happy with that you can just uh, control s to save it and then we can close close Photoshop and you will see the updated menu appear in Encore so now very very simple first thing we would do is come here to our chapter marker to our marker here take that and we will pick whip it over to play movie you see how I highlighted the button highlighted drag it and drop it there then we will come here for our end action and so we assume that at the end of this movie at the end of this project we want to go straight to back to the menu because we're done so we would just come here and pick whip over to the menu and then that's it now if you have multiple titles um, if you would like I can do another tutorial on that if you are interested just hit me up in the comments and I will do that okay so from here we are ready to build our project so let's check it first um, coming over here to the build tab then you come to check project and make sure everything is checked here so that it checks everything hit start and as you see no issues are found no items are found um, this is very easy you want to also name your project so we're just going to call this test just want one two three um, doesn't matter also make sure that your format here is DVD and your output is DVD disc then pop a DVD, a blank DVD into your DVD recorder and hit build. It will do everything for you and it'll pop out when it's done. Just that simple. And guys, I hope this tutorial has been very helpful for you. Um, again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Also, if you have any other tutorials that you would like to see, Please let me know and I will do my best to get them done for you. Thanks and have a great day.